you are awesome and you're back thank you guys so much i'm dan this is mandy and you are watching buzz chomp woo yeah you go woo woo yeah woo! enjoy our post baby fitness journey you're back and we're nine weeks postpartum really on this fitness journey guys really on this fitness journey all about the fitness challenges to working out as a mom guys this is about three specifically that face every mom out there. I know it's faced me as I've transitioned into being a mom and, you know, really just the last two months. Time, motivation, and energy, guys. If you're a first time mom like me, you had all this time before to go ahead and work out and do everything else you wanted to do. Now you're taking care of another life, guys. Now you're taking care of another life and it's like, ooh, you don't have as much time on your hands. But really guys, you do. And you just have to look at it differently. I really think that that's really what being a fit mom and having this journey is all about is that you just have to look at it differently than you looked at before. Sure, I've said it before. You can't just get up and go out for a run anymore. You got a baby. If you breastfeed like I do, that means that your baby is glued to you. Especially, I mean, now that she's getting older, she's two months old, she's getting a little bit better, you know, but my baby's still small, so she's still breastfeeding on demand. That means that sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go run, but my time and her time do not sync up. We all have to adapt our time and that's really what I've been doing and what I've been learning is that she seems my baby seems to be getting up at similar times now, which is awesome. She always wants to eat in between the 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. hour. Before, I was going back to bed and snoozing for another hour or two, but now, no more, guys. If she wakes up between 5 and 6 and wants to eat, that's it, guys. That's your time. She's telling you now that she wants to be up. She's going to go back to bed. So if you have someone that can watch your babe, you can go work out. You don't have someone to watch your babe, you can do what I do and take her on a run with me. And that's awesome. You're just adapting your time. And no matter what time of the day you want to work out, you just have to look at it like that. Like sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm going to do a circuit in the afternoon. I get myself ready and then she wants to eat. Well, after she eats, she's fine and she's content. So it's just adjusting yourself and realizing that while your time is not always your own, but you have time during the day. If you've gotten your babe on an exclusive like napping schedule, when your babe has their morning nap, you just go and you work out. You just have to adapt your time and you have to look at it differently, guys. You have to look at it differently. You've worked out your time, okay? Now comes the motivation. Like I said before, even if my baby was waking up between five and six before I would sometimes go back and snooze a little bit longer because I didn't have that motivation to be like, okay, time to start my day. I'd want to be like, oh, but she woke up at 2 a.m. and I fed her for 30 minutes. I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. No, guys, no. I always feel so much better after I work out. I always feel so much more energized. I always I'm like, okay, I can take on the day. Or if I do something in the afternoon, like I decide, okay, I'm gonna get up, get stuff done, and then take the babe for a run later in the day. I feel so great after. I've committed myself to that time and I've motivated myself. If you decided you're gonna work out Monday through Friday, no matter what, you gotta keep to that, guys. You gotta keep to that. And if that motivation is just because you set yourself up to do it and you decided, hey, I'm gonna do this and you don't wanna wake up on Monday and not work out because it doesn't set your week off strong, right guys? So if you've decided, okay, I'm gonna work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, take a break Thursday, work out Friday, you gotta do it. If you just keep yourself with the motivation is that you have to do it, you set yourself up to do it. Whatever you can to motivate yourself, you just have to tap into that, guys. You just have to tap into that. The final challenge when it comes to working out is all about energy. It's a double-edged sword here, guys. It's a double-edged sword. You get a lot of awesome energy from working out. Like, that's really why I love to work out in the morning because I feel like if my energy isn't there afterwards, it is. Even with a tough workout and I'm like, oh, that drained me. 
after I shower and have breakfast, I'm like so pepped, guys, so pepped. But sometimes you wake up and you had a rough night with your baby or you're just still getting your babe on a schedule and you just don't feel like you have that energy to work out. Gotta throw that thought out of your mind, guys. You have to throw that thought out of your mind. Working out gives you energy. Even if you don't think you have the energy to go and work out, go push yourself, guys. You gotta push yourself and be like, I'm gonna feel so much better after. And for me, with having this baby and changing my life and all of that, working out is that one thing that keeps me feeling normal, keeps me feeling like myself before, keeps my life going in the same direction that it was before. Because I have that, I have working out, I have doing that for myself. So even if I had a rough night before, I always love getting out there, guys. I always love getting out there. I'm always feeling so much better. And if you can remember that and tap into the fact that even if you don't feel energized, you're gonna feel so much more energized after the fact. It's gonna be great for you. It's gonna be great. You'll feel like you can get so much more done and be more focused because you took that time for you guys. I'm always stressing this that working out is all about you. It really, really is. By making sure that you do it every day or however many days a week that you've set out, you're gonna feel so much better. Sure, there are these challenges, guys, but there's no reason why you can't overcome the challenges that all of us moms have with being time, motivation, and energy to work out and do it. We're all super women, guys. We're all super women, and we can do whatever we put our mind to. Push the baby out of us. Even if you didn't push it out and you had a C-section, you gave birth, guys. You had that. You had all that uncomfortableness. Your body changed, and now you just want to... Bring yourself back to some normalcy and how you were before. Remember, it's all about you and these challenges we all face and we all can overcome. Comment below. Let me know about your fit mom journey and how you overcame your fitness challenges. Yeah, kids. Yeah. Our post baby fitness journey. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan on Buzz Chuck. Subscribe. Oh yeah, thank you.